planning on kind of starting to pack. I'm going to start pulling out clothes and things that I think I'm going to take with me and stuff on the holiday. See how my suitcases are. See how I'm going to put things. And then at least kind of get a head start. And then we'll see how we go. We'll see where the day takes us. I tried to do a little something different with my hair. Like I did a little bit of a braid and tied it up. Because it's going to be hot in Europe, I'm trying to like come up with little hairstyles that I can wear my hair tied up and still look cute, you know, European vibes because I can't handle the heat. If my hair is down, I'm going to be sweating. I hate my face sweating and that's where I sweat a lot. So uh, let's firstly get the suitcases down and uh, start from there. Also, yes, I'm still trying to get over this little cold that I have. Actually, let me take some Sudafed. I love me some OJ. I literally drank like half of the OJ yesterday because I was just so thirsty and actually I felt so good like my nose was not blocked when I went to bed which was fantastic I actually could sleep I got up at the crack of dawn today and then I kind of tried to push myself to sleep uh because Chippy did not want to get up we were cozy together I've also been giving Chippy like mini haircuts so the front of him has a haircut but the back of him doesn't so he looks a bit odd and we have a few days to continue to do that but let's go do the suitcases should I get a ladder? Yes. Do I want to? No. If this hits me on the head, don't try this at home, kids. Oh, good catch. Listen, if we're going to be friends here, you're going to have to not mind the mess. I am using this. is going to be my carry-on, my suitcase that I got for my Christmas present. I love it. You know what? It's empty and it already feels heavy. Is it empty? Maybe I've got stuff in here. No, there's stuff in here. <laughs> oh, it must be for my trip. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Whoa. We have my laundry bag that I'll be taking. Yes, but not in there. And then what have I got here? Oh, my hair straightener. But this is a US hair straightener. I have a lot of like appliances and stuff for going to the trip to America because I did live there and I also travel there quite frequently. So I have a hair straightener, a hair dryer and a hair curler all for the US. But I have nothing for Europe. I don't even know if I have a travel adapter. My travel mirror, yes, my seatbelt extender. I usually take this on all my flights. I don't think I'm going to take it this time because we are flying business class most of it and i feel like maybe the seatbelt should be a bit bigger and i, I don't need the extra weight because it's quite heavy however before we start packing i'm gonna go out for coffee with my sister and our friend gordana and then we'll come back and start packing so uh, let me get changed outfit of the day i'm just wearing these jeans that are from cotton on i've got my city chic new boots and then i've put one of those cardigans that i've been saving for a while this is a size 18 it's actually quite roomy it's nice and long as well and then i got my sunnies on and chip is not coming <laughs> i'm back from my coffee this eye just has not stopped watering today same as this side of my nose <laughs> i can say too this is a suitcase that i'm taking it's like a, a bag suitcase so I find this easier because you can squish it a little bit more than like a box suitcase and like if you go if you go into a cab and you have to share with others it, I feel like there's a little bit more room to maneuver than like everyone having like boxes it's a bit harder I would say so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pop this smaller version of this bag in there and in case we need it because we may at some point need it we have the extra bag this is why I think packing cubes are great because I'm not going to be able to see all my stuff that's in there and also like I'm just afraid that some of my white clothes might get dirty so I'm going to pop those in like packing cubes that the Shein ones if I can find them those packing cubes that I got from Shein and that way like I want to put some of the stuff whether in a packing cube or in a bag and then pop it in my carry-on like some of the stuff like clothes that we'll need initially like the first couple of days we now like transit so I don't have to like rummage through my suitcase and then just some items that like I can't live without so to speak like my shapewear and bras that like if my suitcase was to go missing and some undies that's stuff that like I absolutely need and it's not I'm the type of person like I can't buy well you can tell from my size I can't just go into a normal store and get some undies or bras like it's hard enough to get that stuff 
when you know in here in Australia where to get it, or little like overseas. The first thing I want to do is actually weigh the suitcase. I've put the little suitcase in this big one, just checking that there's no like extra stuff in here, and I want to weigh it to see how much it weighs with the two suitcases together. So I've got one of these measuring things. I think we got these from like Aldi. All right, it's on zero. Now let's, I'll just bring it over here. 5.11. Okay, it's roughly five kilos. At least we know I'm starting off with a five kilo weight. Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing, I know this looks like a bit of a mess here. Okay, pyjamas, I need to pack I'm packing two pairs of PJs, so I've got my nice Peter Alex, or they're all Peter Alexander. So I need to pack pyjamas that I'll be taking to the Philippines, because that is our first stop. And then one pair is coming in this suitcase. Um, what I'm trying to do is, okay, this is my first, like, packing cube. And what I'm doing is, this is stuff that is going to Macedonia, and I'm not going to, like, wear it beforehand. I'm pretty sure I'm not. It's, like my dress options for the event but also like dresses that i probably won't wear till i get to macedonia these are the shoes that haven't been worn yet anyway these are the shoes that i'll be wearing with whatever i'm wearing because they work with all of my outfits so i might pop them in like a shoe bag <laughs> only because i don't want them to ruin is this a shoe bag it is now they can go on the bottom ish anyway this is going to get re packed at some point i'm taking my own towel as well these are great because they're very compact swimsuits i've got the bottoms of these i forgot that i had bought these and what top am i going to wear now normally i like this bra top and i feel like it works well with the bottoms probably going to pack also the pink cup she swimsuit just for some pics because i like pink the laundry bag i'll probably keep in that side pocket here because that's going to be an important one and what I first want to do is kind of lay out, actually I like to fold things inside out so then they don't get dirty. But what I want to do is kind of lay things out and then if I, like if it's a dress it's fine. And what I'm going to do is like roll everything up because I've just always done the roll method. And I feel like it works to like, especially in this suitcase, to squeeze things in the corners. But as I was saying, what I do want to do is kind of lay things out and be like, okay, what goes with what? So I don't want to take, like firstly, I packed this like a nice simple striped top but i thought okay what would i wear it with because that's going to be my thoughts my thinking behind things if it's not a dress if it's a top and shorts or skirt it needs to match with stuff if i'm going to bring okay a lot of time has passed for me and only an instant for you and you're like why is she in a different outfit well i don't know about you guys but i like to try some of my stuff on before i pack it especially if it's something that i haven't worn in a long while and i'm like I'm not sure about it and I just, I want to see if it's something I'm going to wear. And the funny thing is I've popped a few things in here and then I'm like, I am not be clothes. Does anyone else ever get to that where I'm like, what did I wear in summer? I don't have any clothes. Did I just wear the same thing over and over again? And then I realised, well, most of the time you spend your time at work, so you wear like your work stuff all the time. And then at home you wear like your casual gear. So then your stuff that you wear like out, you just wear the same thing pretty much. Anyways, this was one of those things where I was trying on this dress because literally I bought this dress. I think it's from that Vero Moda brand that you get in Maya, I want to say. And I literally think I put it on once and literally wore it for like a picture and that's it. And never wore it. So now I was like, let me put it on. I feel like it's a very neutral color that I can wear with lots of stuff. So I'm thinking I will bring it with me because I may as well wear it. It's very like summery as well by the water. I feel like maybe in Nice this would work well. And so like I really, really like this skirt that I have. And then I'm like, what have I worn it in the past with? Because I need like a top. Also, because I'm bringing my white shoes, the ones that I ended up getting from Big W, uh, they're going to be kind of like my everyday walk around shoes. So for now... What I have is I've got a bunch of stuff in here, like the light colors and the whites. I've got a couple of purple dress, a couple of purple tops that I'm going to zip up. I probably could fit another top or so in here. I mean, look, there's always room for adding extra or minusing stuff. This is pretty much just like a dry run, shall we say. And the thing is, the stuff that I like, like this skirt, it's 
heavy. But anyways, this is what we have for now. guys I am putting on my makeup I'm just using the my flower beauty I love this shade of pink my blush I've done majority of my makeup literally uh, I've got I'm gonna do lashes in the corner there so I've got the glue on there and I figured while the glue is drying I'll do my blush uh oh I think I put a bit much on I always tell you this dilemma between Putting on makeup for filming because I do want, I think I've got a bit of time, I keep forgetting to film the speaking portion of like a try on video that I did and I did it like two weeks ago and I'm at work today but I thought let me do it today and then that way I can edit it. I've been using, finishing off my Marc Jacobs shadow and my favourite colours were the nudie one here and the one next to it and literally I think when they're done and the brownie one here, I think when they're done I'll probably just dispose of this palette. I love putting these little like accents on. I just feel like they just, it's like having, it kind of feels like you're not really wearing lashes and they're actually a lot more comfortable than a whole lash. And seeing as my cold has pretty much gone, I've just got the remnants of like needing to blow my nose out every now and then. Okay, time to do the lips. I have been loving my little concoction. My NYX lip liner. This is in the shade uh, Nude. And we're done. But before I do my hair, I just want to move some stuff in the other room. Let's go. So if you remember from the other day, I was going to move like this around and I didn't. But the little thingy that's over here, actually maybe I should give this a bit of a vacuum before I move it over. The little thingy from over here, I pushed it all the way down the stairs. It's at the bottom of the stairs now. But I think I can turn this table around and pop it here. this up but it's not gonna happen today you guys always probably thinking she's always changing outfits and doing things but I did just film the speaking portion of my like collective video where I did a couple of different brands that took me longer than what I thought it was gonna take me but then I feel like I fluffed around in that front room as well because I vacuumed and then I continued to vacuum down the hall in bathroom my room down here until the vacuum cleaner died and I was like okay Sansi you don't have time for this I do now need to make myself some lunch so I'm gonna make a bigger portion so then I have some lunch for today and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and then have lunch for Monday I've already pre-chopped the veggies this morning which I'm happy about so now I just need to fry it all up so here are my veggies I already chopped them all up I'm just going to cook in this pot do we call it because my fry pan I literally like cleaned the heck out of my fry pan today and I'm doing turkey breast mince I also haven't had breakfast so I'm going to make oats okay so I added I had a couple of uh, yellow peppers in there and also some onions as well I didn't have much onion left it was just I had onions last night and I left a little bit for in here I'm just pretty much like sweating it down I guess softening them up a little bit and I'm gonna add in the meat here my oats are here I've got my blueberries in there I just put in the hot water I just usually let them sit and then I'm going to add some banana to that and oh, I'm starving. I pop the mince in and this is where I put like my salt, my pepper, all my herbs in there. I had put some garlic in there as well so you know you want the flavour and then I'm going to pop in some of this passata. And this is what it looks like and now I'm just going to, I think this is about three portions or four portions worth. Every time I film in here I feel like the background is so like clinical, it's so white. Hey guys, another day in the vlog. I'm all dressed up and ready to go. Today is my best friend Annette. It's her child's first birthday and we're just going out for the day. We are going to, I've been there before. So if you're a regular of my vlogs, it's called the Grounds of Alexandria and it's where they have every so often, a couple of times in the year, they do like big installments of, of like where you can have lunch and stuff there, but they also have like a big installment of a theme. And right now it's called Candyland and the pictures look amazing. It looks like all candy, of course, but bright colors, beautiful. I'm really excited to see it. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to see it before I went on my holiday, 
bus and Esther was like we're coming in to do that and I'm like you know what I'm off work today so I'm coming and I'm, I'm gonna see you guys we're gonna take some pics and enjoy the day it's actually a beautiful day outside it is sunny it is so nice you know what when it's sunny my mood is bright even though it's winter it's cold but the sun just makes you feel happy and great I was in the bathroom and I was just cleaning up because the vacuum cleaner I have it's the Dyson like handheld one but it literally lasts like I was gonna say five minutes let's, let's say maybe ten it does not last at all so it has taken me three days to try and vacuum just the upstairs and I kind of do like room by room and I was in the bathroom and I thought to myself I really need to vacuum in here today I'll do it a bit later all of a sudden I was like wiping down the sink and I pushed the candle over and all the glass fell and I thought well the glass the glass broke and I thought well stands it that's a sign that you got to do it now so I got out the vacuum cleaner I vacuumed inside there and now I'm like okay I've got to now charge it because now it's on the charger so then I can vacuum a different area of the house later and then I'm going to charge it then I'm going to vacuum again so it's like it's as I said it's taken me days because I don't have too much time so where I've got a moment and I remember I'm like quick vacuum I feel like I vacuumed around Every single time I get to like my room, it dies. And then I'm like, next time I start in a different spot, I continue back to my room, it dies. <laughs> At least all the glass is tied up because I wear slippers, but little Chip has bare feet and I can't have him having any glass in his feet. I'm wearing my cup she dress, that white one. It's so pretty. Like I really like the fit of it. I kind of, I feel like it's very flattering and nice, but it's very thin fabric. So I'm wearing like a slip underneath. So kind of, because I found this bra in my wardrobe and it's like this beautiful like purple with polka dots. So cute. And I'm like, yes, I'm sure at the time Stansy was like, oh, how pretty it's purple. And now I'm like, well, can you really wear it under anything? No, it comes through. So I need to wear like two layers. Okay, I've got to grab a bag, get my outfit totally done, and uh, I'll bring you guys along for sure. yesterday the grounds that we went to I think that was probably the last time I filmed it was ridiculously busy just so many people we also got there at like lunchtime and literally like usually I like to take a photo as soon as you walk in like to get the whole thing it was just so full of people there was like you couldn't really see anything and I tried to record what I could to try and avoid people but that's hard too. So I did what I could just a little bit. I get, I recommend if you're someone who wants to take photos, you go super, super early in the morning when there's no people around so you can take yourself a photo. There's a couple of people, but they're willing to usually move so you can take a photo or they're further back. But lunchtime, not just for that, not even just for taking photos. It was just, it's like this when you're walking around. So if you wanted to line up and buy something, it was just busy it was hard to find seats it was like for someone like me who doesn't like crowds it was a bit of a nightmare however it was the last day of school holidays so i'm guessing like anyone you know was trying to like squeeze in going there you know before school starts but anyways then i came home my friend sonia actually came over last night i didn't really record that because usually we just see we have a chat here and we just you know catch up because it's been a few weeks since we've seen each other and that was that today i'm up i'm ready we are going to Wollongong because we're going out for georgie's birthday which is my friend Annetta from yesterday it's her daughter i'm just wearing this pink dress i've worn this quite a few times but i'm planning on wearing like i wanted something comfy and then i'm wearing these boots that i got from autograph they they're quite comfy the only thing is they're quite wide on the bottom so i usually need a few pairs of socks and they're still a bit big but at least they're flat so i just didn't feel like wearing anything with heels so i want to be comfy especially because it's a day thing and then afterwards we might swing past the shopping center so i didn't want to go with anything too outrageous and then i'd have to like wear it to the shops so i thought something pretty quick and usually to my sisters i always bring myself like a pair of track pants to change into once we get to the house 
us later but yeah this is the look i did my makeup i've got gloss today i really love gloss i actually mixed two lip lacquers i mixed my nyx one and my jaclyn hill one to make this like nice deep pink which i quite like and then i'm wearing my kmart heart earrings because i wanted a pinky thing because her first birthday and like i know a lot of the colors in her cake and stuff are gonna have pink and i thought me and my sister are gonna do a bit of pink because my friend Annette is wearing pink and i think also photos will look cute but anyways oh i'm running behind schedule so i'm going to go but i'll bring you guys along where i can well howdy there it is a new day and uh i know i was very terrible at vlogging on the weekend i'm sure i'm gonna tack this on to the end of another vlog because i don't have too much vlogging that i'm going to do today so i'm probably going to tack it on and then knowing me i'm probably going to do a lot of vlogging today i am actually getting my hair done today you're probably thinking why is your hair all done up well i did get my city chic dress the black sparkly one i did end up returning it and yesterday a new size came in i haven't tried it on yet it came in this beautiful like suit bag with a coat hanger and everything i mean the first one was just i guess this one was maybe a bit more pr-ish i would say and then the first one was just like if you ordered it online how you would get it i would say because it was in a bag but anyway i returned it this one came through fingers crossed this one fits because we don't we can't be returning this again but i the first thing i wanted to do was just get my pick done maybe do a bit of a reel with it as well and then that way like i can go on with the rest of my day which is what i want to do because i am going out for lunch today with my sister and gordana and then i'm getting my hair done after that so i'm probably not going to be home and i just want to get it done today because i can't do it in the evening and it gets dark so early it's winter but anyways yes i'm just gonna pop on i've got my purple brow so i'm just gonna pop on a black brow because the black dress and pop on some shapewear and then i'm thinking of taking the pick downstairs because i haven't set up this area yet angus was meant to come and put the brackets in because this is the bit where i'm going to put brackets up here and i'm going to put curtains here so then i can take my pics in this area it's kind of a little bit more open i can push the camera back i can even maybe do some tiktoks well i guess when my parents aren't home but i feel like it's a little bit easier than trying to squish myself in the hallway over here the dress guys is absolutely gorgeous it fits me like a glove i think you can see all of it it's beautiful like literally i'm in love with it like i absolutely love it it actually has like two layers of lining hold on let me lift this up so it's got the long lining which you can see but there's even a shorter one underneath this is how you know it's actually good quality now granted they gave this to me they know that they don't i don't even think they are they know i have a youtube channel so therefore they don't know that i'm telling you guys but like it's for picture for instagram anyways which as i always say in the picture you can't really tell like you can't tell 100 percent how good something is but uh the the lining just makes it sit better it could because it kind of provides that layer a few layers of fabric so the dress is not clingy do you get me like it's fitted but it's not clingy where it's going to cling to all the wrong places it fits beautifully it's got this little section here which if you guys can see at the front let me come closer you can see it's like a, a cowlick type thing which i actually like it this way i know my preference is probably this way initially in the picture i thought i'd wear it the other way but literally you grab this and you send it to the back and you've got a beautiful v-neck down the front it's absolutely gorgeous like i love because it's black and sequins you can wear it anywhere because i feel like it's not over the top dressy it's just gorgeous the back so now this bit stays at the back which now makes the back look really good but the back has i don't know if you guys can see it's got this like all this gathering here and it's got the zipper that goes up but the gathering very flattering and i know some people are triggered by the word flattering to me i just feel like flattering just means like you look good anything can be flattering just feel like it looks good and why aren't we allowed to look good and use words anyways back to the dress i just love it the length nice and long i feel like these are the perfect shoes to wear i've got like some sparkly ones on platforms might make it a little bit short but then maybe easier to walk because you're not really touching the floor but for me who's not not a tall person the length is perfect on me i just i love it it's honestly beautiful i would have taken it with me overseas 
it is just heavy it is gorgeous if you're looking for a dress cheap is barking in the back in there if you're looking for something i highly recommend this it is gorgeous i'm not sure i think it possibly comes in a different color i'm pretty sure it does i just went with the classic black but literally this is classic my whole point behind this is i get it this luxe range is pricey however it's absolutely classic like look at the style of the dress you can wear this in 10 years time it is like a classic down a little bit of a fishtail down the bottom absolute classic style which is where you want to invest your money you never want to invest in something that's like i don't know first of all you're only wearing it because it's a trend and second of all it's just something that you'll only that that means a trend doesn't say only wear now something that you know you probably won't wear in five years time this literally believe me i have dresses from 20 years ago i'll have one dress from 20 years ago this sort of same style it just doesn't fit me anymore it's one of those where you hold on to it uh this is definitely something that like you could wear even in 20 years time i guarantee Anyways, uh, I've got to take it off because I have stuff to do. <laughs> and I did get myself some new bras over the weekend. My old bras, literally, they, they were too big. They were coming out kind of here. But also, you know, they just had stretched out. So I thought, I had a voucher. It was time for some new ones. So I did end up getting some from City Chic. I just like the way that they're kind of more open here because I wear, like, open clothing usually. And I don't want my bra to be seen. So I ended up getting this one. This is probably, like, my favorite style of bra oops i need to take the tags off this is my favorite style of bra this is the fifi ct bra and this is in the shade ivory i do have two of these in the black i think i've had this color before in the past as well the lines are a little bit see-through on some white so i'm like i love this style so i want to bring both so i probably will wear one on the plane i mean oh do I have time? I might have time to give them a quick rinse before I pack them and then have them dry because it's sunny today. And then I've got this, which is just your plain t-shirt bra. This one I love too. I have it in a pink. I once found it, but the pink is just so overly stretched. And I literally like used to keep that for like only wearing it to like special occasions. And then when my old bra wrecked, I had to wear it all the time and then I stretched it out as well. So this one is, now I'm a size 18F now and... My right boob is bigger than my left, so I have a little bit of spillage, which I totally get, like, you're not supposed to have that, but it doesn't bother me, and I much prefer just feeling firm in my bras. I think that's very important that I feel, like, put in and put together. The mistake I used to do in the past was get, like, my clothing size or try and size up so I could get it to fit in the bust area, but it was too big here, and then it would fit me in the bust, which was fine, but then with time, you can only tighten it, you know, here, you couldn't tighten it anymore. I'm probably an 18G, but they didn't have any of those. And so these ones fit me, so I'll grab these. I'm taking two of my sunglasses. One is, I'm sure I showed you guys a little bit earlier in the vlog. I'm so excited about these ones. <laughs> these are my new Tiffany's. Like, I just feel like they're so sleek. And I do love them, like, with my hair up. And you know what? Sometimes it just depends on what you're vibing with, you know, what outfit you're vibing with. And then I've got my regular Burberry's. These are, you know, those, like, large ones that you always need nice, big, oversized ones because you do. I've got a couple of these adapters. Now, what I recommend, what we normally do is we also bring, like, a double adapter thingy with like four of them so that way one of these goes in the wall that plugs in and then we have four outlets that we can use with our aussies you always bring that it's just the best thing i actually changed my mind about what i was going to wear i was literally just going to wear a purple top but i just popped on my city chic i'm a bit puffed while running around just this same outfit that i've worn out before but i thought let me wear this jumper because i am going overseas and i'm not going to be able to wear it and then I know it's still going to be cold. I think I did this a bit time. It's still going to be a bit cold when I get back, but still just in case. Like, I quite, I love the colours on it. And then I'm just wearing the same, these city chic jeans and oh, my Prada bag. And then, yeah, I'm going to do my hair a bit later. I am packing behind me, so that is why all of this is a mess. Mm -hmm. 